Hey yo! Have you heard of this little all unknown program named Adobe Animate? Wouldn't blame you if you haven't, it's a little underground. <clears throat> J jokes aside, for the two of you that haven't heard of it, or for the newcomers, here are some fun essentials that you can try and should probably absolutely know about when you get your hands on it. Starting with... Number 1. To rig or not to rig? That is the question. Adobe Animate presents to you with the options of doing both frame by frame and puppet animations, but it definitely has a bias towards one of the two as it is far more optimized for the latter relative to the former. It can do both, but it does one slightly better than the other, for the most part. Vector puppet animation is the bread and butter of this program by virtue of the sheer number of function it has to fulfill this express purpose. What are these functions? You may ask or not ask at all, there's no physical meat to tell either way. All in time, my friend, but before we go anywhere, it is important to, and we will never repeat this enough, to have intent as in to know exactly what you are getting yourself into slash what you want to do before taking the plunge. Getting existential much? Oh well, with that out of the way, here's how Animate makes your animation life as easy as a spring breeze. Number 2. Symbols For the uninitiated, you can think of symbols as containers that can store drawings or pre-made animations and even other symbols. Once you have created one, you can have as many instances of it as you would possibly want. They can then be replicated, modified, scaled. You can even change the starting frames for the case of animation symbols to create offset. The easiest thing you can do with symbols is create loops. You only need to animate a single tree to create then an entire forest. You can create special effects like sparkles, dust, and impact that you can reuse throughout the entire project or take advantage of the offset to have the easiest lip syncing time of your life. And the best part, you can convert anything into a symbol with a simple right click. Number three. And action, cameraman. Camera work is the cornerstone of any type of visual media. Thank you, Mr. Obvious. And animation is not an exception. If anything, it's the confirmation and culmination of this fact simply because the only limit is in fact your imagination. You're not limited to silly inconvenient things like the laws of physics and staff security. Ugh. And for the case of animate, well, it has a camera too. Duh. This tool allows you to mess around with rotation, anchor points, and most importantly, depth. So you don't have to manually animate any of this stuff. Drawing something like an action scene is complicated enough, so being able to forego the camera work entirely during the animation step and worry about it later, or being able to improve upon it after the fact is one of its greatest appeals. Number four. Uh, excuse me, d do you feel a stroke or stroke of fill? Hmm. In Adobe Animate, there is two manners in which you can create your subject matter, a fill or a stroke. A stroke is essentially your typical vector line, a series of linked anchor points that you can later edit as such. And although a fill can look similar to a stroke from a glance, there's a major difference that shows up when you try to edit it. It stretches and squashes like dough or rubber. That is because unlike a stroke, the anchor points go around the shape, not within it. What does that mean? Well, first of all, it is worth noting that working with fills is more compatible with pressure sensitivity. Therefore, it feels better to draw with fills rather than strokes. But strokes come with the advantage of extremely simple editing after the fact. And there is also a catch. You can convert your strokes into fills and edit them as such after the fact. So you can mess around with squashing, stretching, and my personal favorite, very easy make them beautiful smear frames. I swear nothing is more satisfying than just making smear frames and then looking at the finished product with the smear frames included. Mm. Number five, smooth like butter. As a bonus tip for your vector strokes, you can optimize your animation by auto adjusting the number of curves in your lines, getting rid of any jitters and extra unwanted noise, making both your lines and animations smoother and much more fluid. It's easier on the eyes as a result. Number six, auto lip sync. Yes, indeed. With the help of symbols, Adobe Animate can 
lip sync for you. You can draw individual mouth shapes for specific sounds labeled in the auto lip sync window and have the program create keyframes matching those same sounds in any imported audio. An incredible revelation, a true godsend. So why is there so much time left in this portion of the video? Well, much like anything that involves artificial intelligence, uh, it sometimes fails to understand the most basic of things, requiring you to manually double check and correct any inconsistencies. It can't be exclusively relied on, as if you use it exclusively, you will inevitably end up with uncanny results. But it will definitely save up a lot of time if used intelligently. So do keep that in mind. And use said mind. Number seven. And action. Auto action. What do you mean you've already done this joke? Don't, don't pay him any mind. Much like Photoshop, you can record any series of commands and assign the entire chain to a single shortcut key, which is very convenient for making an entire post-production step applicable with a single click or, or during production. Point is, if you didn't know, there's a panel you can find by clicking on the window tab called Actions that will record and memorize every button press and action you make and allow you to repeat the entire process with the click of a single button. So you can customize your workspace according to your own unique Workflow. Number eight. Tanimate. More like flanimate, am I right? <laughs> <clears throat> Last, but definitely not least, we would like to bring to your attention Flanimate Power Tools, which are a series of plugins that you can use for anything puppet animation related. From rigging, posing, color, stroke and asset management, character animation, special effects, and tons of guides for your own amusement, all of which are available for the low, low price of absolutely nothing. So go check them out. It's probably time I go see myself out, so with that, we hope we have covered the most important aspects of Adobe Animate. This program and its predecessor were responsible for some of the wonder years of the internet and remain a cornerstone of internet history and culture. We do hope that this has helped the uninitiated to be more familiar with this program and gave the struggling veteran some inspiration. Feel free to browse around our channel as we have made a few many documentary videos, reviews and comparisons involving Adobe Animate. Animate. We have even compiled the best YouTube tutorials to learn everything about this program just for you. If you have any further thoughts or tips, we would love it if you can share them with us in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and to commit the subscribe. And we will catch you soon with some more quality content. So stay creative, folks. And as always, we'll catch you next time. Bye!